creating web pages using OpenOffice Write and CMonkey Composer. Let me start up OpenOffice Write and just type some random text in there. File save as. Test one. Save. And let's drop this window down. Now see monkey composer. Let me close the browser. Drop this down. Okay, so here we have our two folders, the open office created test1.odt, that's this one that you see right here, and cmonkey test1.html. So if we wanted, if we wanted to uh, convert uh, open office write test1.odt to a uh, web page, we can say file, save as, and the type is a HTML document, save, and here you see the file has been created right here. If I add in OpenOffice a picture, uh, insert picture, save it. out. You can see here's the code that's generated from OpenOffice, the web page code, and because I put a picture in there it automatically creates the, the picture as one of the files inside this directory where this document is at. So that's kind of cool all of your pictures are going to be in the same directory. That picture you can see is specified right here in the code. Let's see if I can find it here. Here's your image tag. Here's the name of the file that it automatically created for us. In the open office, I'm sorry, the uh, CMonkey, it's just the HTML code and the random text that I typed. Let's see if we can let's see if we can add a picture in here. Insert a picture. Hold on a second. Let me figure out how to insert a picture in this app. Hold on one second. Okay, and see monkey to insert the same picture. that I add text for it. And there you go, and now I can say file save. And when I look at the code, you can see it inserted in the HTML the image tag along with the source. And here is specifying the path of where I actually have this picture on my laptop here. 
so it did not create a duplicate of that picture and put it inside the folder right here. So I need a, I need to copy and put a picture in here of, of the same one. So let me grab it real quick. Okay, I copied a, that same picture and I put it inside the, the folder for SeaMonkey. So in the code, and let me make sure I don't have it still open. Okay, let me close that. Let me edit this code real quick. And just that in there like that. Save. Okay, so now when I open C Monkey again, Composer. Open. Okay, so here we go. So I got the picture inside this C Monkey app. All right, so let me think how to describe this for a second. What these two apps just did is create the HTML code for you. Alternatively, you would use a text editor in order to be able to manually create everything. For example, pull up the source code on here so I can help look at it. If you wanted to manually create a web page using a text editor, you would have to manually type everything. So I will try to duplicate real quick using Notepad. type and here's my HTML tag and my head which has the meta tag in it if you wanted to have some type of search engine uh, information if you don't well a page title There's other stuff that can go in ahead. I'll show you that later on. And here you have the body. And you have an image. Source equals. Quote unquote. or pick one. Maybe a break and some random text. folder for this web apps web apps no pad page one See, 
there's the code that I had manually typed. So there is the difference between using web apps or, or using applications like Office Writer and SeaMonkey in order to be able to create a web page. SeaMonkey is pretty dang handy because you can switch between the design view and the actual code. Oops, sorry. The source code and you can change things directly in the source code in order to be able to do things. But the problem with using this is as soon as you change it inside this right here and you go back to the normal design view, then it switches it back. It it can it uh, changes your or modifies your source code. So ultimately when you design web pages uh, you are constantly having to go into the source code outside of the app that you use in order to be able to, to modify it just the way that you want.